Howdy folks and welcome back to the DIY HVAC Guy YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be testing out this 1000 watt power station and the solar panel to see how long it will power our furnace. This uh, power station is made by v Vito Man. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but we'll go over some of the features first and then we'll get into the test and show you the um, running time for this power station with our gas furnace that is 110 volts. So let's get started. A beautiful unit here. This is the Vito Man Jump 1000. That's this uh, model. We have our DC input, two USB C's. We have our display here that shows the capacity, how many watts it's pulling. Uh, we have a port here for jumper cables. And this one is for the solar uh, to plug in. We have three uh, grounded plugs, all pure sine wave. And then we have a bunch of uh, USB ports as well as our cigarette light. Now, if we look on the back side, we have a cool feature. We have a light here. Uh, it's very bright, actually. Um, it has multiple settings, SOS. So that's a nice feature in the event of an emergency. And we've got two vents on the side. So that's pretty much it for um, the description of this unit. Um, this is our solar panel. It's pretty nice, it's a 100 watt, so it folds out. You can set it up and uh, get some extra usage out of that. So we have a little bit of cloud coverage today, so we're gonna set this up and I'm sure it'll give us some extra juice. Um, it would be more effective if it, was, if it was sunny, but this is gonna be like real time in the event of an emergency, how will this system work? So let's go ahead and get it plugged in. If you've seen my other videos, you'll probably know that I highly recommend this to be prepared in the event of an emergency. Just to give you a brief description of what this does, this is a dedicated outlet and switch for the furnace. So when I turn this on with grid power, it turns this outlet on and when I turn it off it isolates this from the furnace. Now this pigtail is never live even when this is on I'm not going to get electrocuted. Um, this just goes to the furnace just like any other appliance you plug into an outlet and then it has juice. So in essence what we're doing when we're on grid power is we have this plugged in to switch on and when we're plugging into our inverter or into our generator, we simply unplug it and we'll plug it into our extension cord. Now, one thing to note is that most furnaces run off of a 12 gauge wire. Um, again, this is for a gas furnace. This is not for an electric furnace that requires much heavier gauge wire and much more electricity. So as you can see, we're gonna match our extension cord with a 12 gauge and we're simply gonna plug this in here and then we'll plug the other end into our power station. All right, so we got our extension cord plugged into our furnace. Um, I lied, this is actually, if you want to use your car battery to charge it, I think. Um, this one is actually for the solar input. And I'll show you what we got out here. This cold weather has made my door start to stick. So we're starting to get some sun, but because of the location, I can't get it in direct sunlight right now, but we do have this to where it is getting some light and it will be charging um, the system a little bit. Obviously it would be better and have longer runtime if this was in direct sunlight. Um, the one thing, the one downside is I wish this cord was a bit longer um, and it is built into the um, actual solar panel so maybe that could be modified on some of their newer models that's just something to keep in mind with the veto man uh, solar panel so let's get our unit kicked on and get this test started okay so this is a real-time test it's 940 uh, we're at 66 degrees but i'm gonna bump i'm gonna keep it at 65 degrees throughout the day today um, I'm going to bump it up just to 67 just to show you uh, what the amp draw is when the inducer kicks on. Uh, 
Uh, the burners will kick on, and then when the fan kicks on, this will probably spike to about a thousand watts. So 880, and then it drops back down to 408. Interesting. So the EcoFlow that we tested shows about 500 watts while it's running and it spiked up to a thousand. So there's about a difference of 100 watts. We were using a different cable though. Um, so that may make a difference. Um, again, this is a 12 gauge cable. It's showing 3.2 hours. That's not realistic because we're not gonna be running it for hours straight. This will probably run for about 10 minutes and then shut down and it will just sit at idle for probably 45 minutes to an hour and then it'll kick back on. So again, it's 943. We're gonna leave it at 65 degrees and we'll give you a little update here in about a couple hours. I forgot to mention this as well, but it is 24 degrees outside. And as you can see, it says it's 64.4 inside. My thermostat says 65. All right, it is 12.49, so it's been about three hours where our heat just kicked off. It's still 65. What you say, buddy? Staying warm. And I'll show you what we got here. <clears throat> so we're showing 79%. Um, again, it's 12, almost 1 o'clock. So, we'll give you another update here in a little bit. All right, guys, it's 420. We're at 52% capacity. All right, it is 935. Still maintaining at 65. And our jump 1000 is showing 12%. So far, it has run for 10 hours at 65 degrees. It is 11.08. Still steady at 65. I'm getting tired. 1%. It hasn't quit yet. I'm gonna say that's about it. Well guys, I am so thrilled at how well this Vito Man Jump 1000 did. Uh, we got 14 hours of use out of it, which is amazing for such a small uh, unit. Um, so I couldn't have been happier with this. Um, this would make an awesome gift if you're thinking about purchasing one. Um, we'll have a link in the video description for this as well as the solar panel. And we will also have a exclusive discount code for you viewers. So make sure to check that out in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave it a like. Check out this playlist for more emergency heat videos so you can be prepared in any type of emergency. And until next time, you guys be safe. Later.